The Panthers Poundcast is for entertainment purposes only. The opinions expressed on the show are solely those of the presenters and in no way reflect the views of the Panthers organization. Listener discretion is advised. You got it. <laughs> Los Pantera, Jamaica's Plow, 333, Mr. The, Canadian Doll, the Canadian, the Canadian Doll, and Master Splinter here with the Poundcast post game. I want my name. Well, on this. this is like our third take. Sorry, guys. Welcome to an awesome Sunday. It's actually our second take, like John Stewart's second fumble. Ugh. Jesus yeah. Christ! See, we had such a the, better start. So much better. You went right to the negative shit. I'm right sorry. Right. You guys put me here. <laughs> All right, listen. We dominated the street with our promotion slash. Happy. Thing that we did, if you watched our video today, you saw us down there. Uh, these two idiots were holding a big fucking sign that said, uh, text your picture to at P Poundcast. And the big banner, of course, saying, uh, never forget, the Falcons blew a 25-point lead. I think Dole had a good this point about what they did today. They also blew a lead today. They did. They did. 10-point lead. 10-point lead. And they blew a big lead earlier this season. He's the Dolphins. 17-point lead. Establishing the fact that Atlanta cannot hang on to a lead. Matty which, Ice is melting. Which really just Flat solidifies Ryan. what us Panthers fans know, is that Matt Ryan is the single greatest choke artist of all time. But he's True. pretty choky. And do, do you guys like that one sack where he just fell down? Well, he tripped yeah. over running backwards. He, he, he fell down. To you see Julio dead. flopping? Ju Julio? Julio Jones. If he made that catch, it would have been a different game. That, that really hinged. I don't know why yeah, he well, did. If I was, was it like 70 feet tall, it'd be different too. But fuck him. He it was making... right in his hands. That little uh, Freeman move where he we got dusted over there on the uh, on the sidelines was crazy. Stop talking over each other. And at the end of the game, they ended up scoring that touchdown. They just ran the field on us at the end there. Like, they're a good team. But it didn't matter. No, we did. four and outed we them. We did. Yeah. The defense. That's who gets my freaking pick of the week. Cam Newton gets game ball. Cam Newton. There you who, go. who gets your game ball, Dole? Cam Newton, easily. Why? Because when nothing else was happening, he just decided, I'm going to do this thing, and just tore them up. How many yards? He, is, this thing says he had 86 rushing yards. We've heard that different things. It doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right. It, <clears throat> it's still, on nine attempts, 86 yards, one TD, average 9.6. Here's uh, another number two. Two fumbles by Jonathan Stewart. Number two, 201 rushing yards total as a team today. <sighs> nice. Unfortunately, we only had 137 yards. Two wins in a row. Have we had a 100-yard rushing game this season? Maybe one or two. I feel like we, we had a 200 season. yard rushing game. We the did. first game without number 13, no Kelvin. Kelvin Benjamin. No one on earth picked us to win this game. Nobody threw the ball to Brenton Burson. Cam did it the Do last you game. Feel did it? Sort of. It was out of the bounds. But. That Kelvin Benjamin would have helped or hurt this team today? I mean, it's. It's conjecture at this point. Yeah, it is. But I say I am happy with the direction we're moving. We saw our speedsters out there. We saw Samuel make better catches. If we had out here to go with that original run. plan, then we still would have had Kelvin Benjamin today. I like the point you made about Funches. What did you say you noticed about him today? I mean, and he did something KB never did. Do you I remember? Mean, it, we're up in the stands, and this idiot's making great commentary that he forgets <laughs> to tell you about. He's noticed, <laughs> that that, and I agree because I also noticed this today. Devin Funches got a fucking ball in open field, and what did he do? He signaled a blocker, and then he hit the oh, block. Yeah. <laughs> Unlike Kelvin Benjamin, he, he's like, hey guys, there's a guy. He yeah. had this thing called vision and that you need as a football player. Over and, and the one of the other players. Instead of trying, the thing that I saw with Kelvin a lot was he's 6'5", almost 250 pounds, and oh, he would try and juke 5'9", 5'10", defensive yeah. backs. Right. What I saw from Funches today was him be put in the same position, and he ran through Rumble, the defensive like back a and pushed him back five years. Big dude just run people over. That's how it's supposed to be. That's the that's the idea. The key with De Devin is he catches it, he makes one move and goes. Yeah, Lowers ben, his head, takes the angle, and goes. Benjamin is just a you know for his size he's not dominant enough. That's no my hate, opinion. no hate at all. It, it no. Does no, Benjamin bring yeah. anything that Devin Funches doesn't? Less penalties. Young, uh, one less, one less year, like a youth, another ten, year. Ten million in cap space. They can both win jump balls. 
Um, they and they can both catch in tight spaces. Do we really? Because it looked like that Cam Newton slam dunk is going to end up on a poster somewhere. He's like Jordan just slamming that in oh, right man, in. Uh, who was it? True Font's face? Yep, it was True Font. Oh, True Font. True, as he's known by the Falcons fans. True what? Just true. Well, I would call him Boo Font for his lack of defense. And Bulio for not catching that pass. Bulio Jones. Something true about the Falcons. Mm, no. I told you, fucks, they were going to be soft this year. I called it from day one. You have? And they are soft. They're f- sitting at 500 like a softie. By the Panthers winning mm-hmm. and the Saints winning, we have divided this division into two. There's the, them and then there's the, us. The, 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 the teams that have a legitimate possibility to keep going yeah. and the teams that obviously just don't want to win. I mean, I'm not going to count the Falcons out of this division race. The Saints are the I Saints. Fuck them. You know, they just beat... They, they've got some hard games coming up. The Saints got to play That's a lot. That's the thing, too. Games. And the Saints aren't used to winning in the last few <laughs> years. And so who's to say the second half of the season is not going to be total well, the Saints fizzle out? Well, have a hard schedule coming up. Mm-hmm. We have... Three uh, gimmies. So a, a fairly easy... So many home games, but don't say gimmies because Chicago was a gimme. Yeah, but we screwed that one up. We're not going to keep doing that. We got it out of the way. Well, you know? we are the Panthers. We might keep doing that. Who on, the, be on Miami? Name three... Name two Miami receivers. Donkey Kong Soups, uh <laughs> friend that catches balls. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only way I can get that in. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, the one that Jay Cutler throws the Dan ball Marino. to. Dan Marino. Is Jarvis Landry still Jay Cutler's not playing. Jarvis Landry. Jarvis Landry. Matt Moore. And... Richard Sherman. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who the fuck plays for Miami. Nobody plays for Miami. Nobody wants to play for Miami. Except they just traded away their running back who was their biggest offensive weapon. Granted, he has no cartilage in his knees, but whatever. <laughs> he's that shit. That's TD. <laughs> you don't need that stuff. I am thrilled. It did look dismal. Dole and I were drinking cold blue moons thinking. They left. They left. He's like, fuck this. I ain't we're down by two scores. They didn't leave we the never stadium. come back. They, left they the don't leave the stadium. They left the seats. Some, people, like, some right. people don't like some to take stairs history. and make them get their Mix, fucking drinks. Mixing for them. up the mojo, you know, mixing up the uh, the bad vibes. I have a method of negativity that is very effective. Thanks for getting me my soda. You're welcome. It was diet and gross. Dole should have got it because he freaking mule kicked it and it spilt everywhere. We and all, down on there, that girl's freaking jacket, which I moved before I had soda on it. I don't know how it was being so and rude. You were actually if trying I to be nice jacket, to her jacket. I tried to. Well, no, the shocker is the one that started it. She shouldn't have been standing there. It's, it's just this. And it's like what? It's like she has an old-fashioned fucking camera where she needs to develop the film. It's a goddamn Delete selfie. Delete it. Delete it and move on with your life, you like, rude cunt. I'm with Carlos 100. Even though wow. we're joyous, we don't well, like I love bitches. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm I, her. She I sucked. She wasn't even that good looking. I'm getting hostile for no reason. <laughs> Whatever. If you're gonna be a bitch, at least be hot. In my opinion. They were. They are with their dad, or who also was dad. not hot. <laughs> <laughs> he was trying to calm her down, like she was. No, he he was egging you on. He asked you if you were from Gastonia. Oh, I said he no. Really? He's from fucking Mexico. Get some class. Oh, I missed that. <laughs> yeah, I'm standing up for you over there. I told him the they, they was awesome. I've now you have had those seats for how many years now? Have oh. you ever seen those people there? No, like they Dave clearly, sold his tickets. He told yeah, me straight up. Dave, Dave Thanks sold a lot, them. Dave. Thanks, Scott. Good job, Dave. Take me down on Tom Philly and give me a bunch of whores to deal with. Just go ahead and get some sort of uh, questionnaire out there. Real be like, you, we got a video for you to watch. <laughs> yeah. Dave made his money, but Dave, you should have shown up. It was a great game, and we, uh, didn't miss yeah, you. we beat the Falcons. They're on a skid. Tampa Bay clearly on a skid. We just got to worry about the Saints. Tampa Bay is on a, a fucking Oh, slab. and uh, Winston hurt himself again. It was said on the radio on the way over here. Winston's hurt again. That what shit. else is new? So, they need to get another quarterback. My, uh, Mike Adams went down. That's something that needs to be mentioned. Interception was back to back games. A wrist, yeah. a finger, a uh, hand. No word yet. Uh, no word. But we did see pictures of him after the game Doing a jersey swapping swap. jerseys with another player. So, so he's not dead or he's Oh, he's fine. Yeah. yeah, he's probably all right. Yeah. But as I said during the game, the safety position is. A kind of uh, stacked position right now because you have mm. a two Pro Bowl safeties, and when one goes down, you put in another Pro Bowl safety. Right. Because yes, uh, Jarius Bird is a three-time Pro Bowler. And it's pretty. And he came we, we in quietly or good there for sure. The we're problem is that there. we're so bad at corner that that can negate any good we do anywhere else in the second. I was about game. to good go point, there with you because he, he he got to the middle of the field. I was going to take it out to the outs. <laughs> Bradbury had a rough game today, slipping and slide. But how you know, you know, Seymour. Julio's going to get his, his freaking catches. But I mean, Bradbury did the best he could today. Seymour was terrible. Seymour and, and you asked, "Where's Worley?" Seymour got most of Worley's snaps. 
I saw in the second half. It was Worley on? Is he hurt? Or no, is no, he, he played. Oh, he, he had, he had one, that one didn't bad hear his name. On CJ, I heard CJ's name a couple times tonight, which is good. He did. Charles Johnson, been quiet. run defense. That's We're still not getting enough pressure on the quarterback. No, nope. We yeah. had two sacks today. Wes Horton, Mario Addison got one each. You know, and we, we had some pressure. And we I got thought nails. we would be able to take uh, take apart that right side of their offensive line. And I know that they're dealing with some injuries, and with Pep over there, and you got KK, yeah. you uh, you no expect sack, one of them to come out with a sack. But instead, you have Horton and Addison showing out today. But Long at the him. same time, you, you wonder about the reasons we're not getting pressure in the areas that we probably should be. I didn't feel like we blitzed as heavily today as we did the last few weeks. I didn't think so either. I wasn't like mad about it, but I just feel we didn't bring the heat a lot. The numbers may show otherwise, but I, I, oh, yeah, I, I don't felt know what I'm like, talking about. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. we have that on the disclaimer. Yeah. <laughs> we're not really sure no, why you pay attention to this, actually. not an information source. No, no we're just funny and fucking handsome. We're just entertaining. Yeah. Yeah. We say stupid things. So I will say something that's intended to be sort of knowledgeable about football. Well, Thank you, Canadian. Get oh! your notepads out. If it's, if it's Showing off the not. Canadian public education <laughs> system. <laughs> football. Right. It's going to be all metric system from here on out. No, so Steve Sarkisian, I think we benefited from him calling a bad game offensively. He's called bad games yeah. all year. But I, I think, you know, you got to take it where you can get it, right? And we have some holes in our defense that he could have exploited game all, all game long that he really didn't. Mm -hmm. So, worse than I mean, the, open, uh, the middle of the field. I mean, nobody's worse than Shula, but. I didn't see that plane today. Did anybody see that? Nobody saw the freaking uh, jets okay. that went over our heads. It's the, too cloudy. The issue. There was an issue that was posted to the Panthers subreddit, yeah. and it was an email from the company that was supposed to fly the banner, and they said that last night, while they were doing eh, something or another, there was damage caused to the engine of the plane that they were going to use wow. in order to take it. Eh, uh, so you get refunded there. their two grand on GoFundMe? Did they find some hard stuff in the tailpipe? Uh, all the Jerry people that donated there. should get it. I'd be pissed off about that. Well, I think they're going to reschedule it for the next Panthers home game. Monday night, where it's dark as hell? No, maybe not then. <laughs> yeah, you have to wait. <laughs> Well, it's still Hopefully flies. Shula will become a Hall of Fame uh, uh, coordinator before then. He's not his dad. No, well, no he's not his dad. That's but he's he also sucks. his dad played in the 70s when there's like four fucking teams. I would say that 15 years into his career, if he hasn't proven he can call a game yet, that's not well, going to happen. That's a, a really Multiple good head point. coaching opportunity. Underlined and bold-faced. I agree with him. Ask Alabama fans what they think of him. Ask anybody. He's fucking trash. He's trash. But he did okay today. Hey, where's his What was that camp? Him, camp took a lot of that on his shoulders. He ran for however many... Cam was mad he when needed they, to win when they didn't games. want like, to go it. for it on fourth. Oh, I love yeah. seeing that. Oh, I wonder if that was, was on TV. It had to be. It, it, I don't. It, I don't think so because it was. I looked down, and Cam was yelling, <laughs> flying, like Throwing he was a losing his shit. Uh -huh. But they lost a lot of momentum, and they ended up losing a timeout in that that whole debacle challenge. Something that clearly. But they wasn't ended up there. going for it, and Cam got it. Yeah, because well, Cam's arms totally are a yard right long. <laughs> totally right move. The three points would have, uh, people would have poo pooed it, but it would have been three points. The three points would have been the right move. Is this the first time all year Rivera's shown a spine? Yeah. Okay. No, we've gone no, we went on we fourth. Didn't get a fourth and, and, um, that was the Chicago game, I think. We didn't get a fourth. Uh, uh, regardless, it's still, <laughs> even when he didn't get <laughs> it, I was happy. happy with the call. You're happy right. with the call when you show faith in your fucking guys and you're out there to dominate and to kick some ass. Not just oh, trying to play a play a It wasn't a yard. They were on their inches. heels, dude. And Cam Newton is six foot hundred. You know, like just fall six down. He got it. Six foot. It's a lot. It's really hill. tall. Do the math on that. He's probably like twenty nine feet tall. That's right? a Mexican measurement. That's. I thought we were on the metrics. <laughs> the Mexrics. Mexrics. <laughs> Oh, oh right. we've offended Canadians, Mexicans, and women. Who and else? Fuck them all, dude. This is our And house. Falcons fans. Hey, you know what? <laughs> shout out. Shout out to the Falcons fans that weren't a total a-holes. They yeah, were we actually pretty cool. We did have some quality cool. Falcon fans and who And they were funny. It. There was one lady dressed up. She was very sweet. And, you know, that's, and then there's one lady, fans. if you look at the live stream, who is Atlanta <laughs> personified. I will leave you to check the video. We got to get her with the Cam Newton uh, cleat lady. The two of them need to go out and go bowling or something. Oh, yeah. What's her name? 
Shh, we don't want to bring that back up, do we? We're all being crucified again for all our we're still being watched. Yeah, we are. Our our can still just go. I don't know, guys. I'm happy. I'm looking forward to the next game. Feels good. You know, it, it was rough at the beginning. We came back from a two score deficit. What did we, we miss in do. this uh, podcast? Put them in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe. Tell all your friends. We got some more stuff we're gonna do. I think interact. nudity is missing. There's tons of nudity. You know how come we won today? Why? The archery range. You think that's what it was? Jesse, thank you so much. Jesse Smith, owner of Barefoot Archery, Old Pineville Road in Charlotte. Please check him out, barefootarchery.com. Uh, you can actually mention the Panthers Poundcast and get two for one uh, archery lessons, the archery experience. You get to shoot arrows all day and a little class. Two Release for your inner Daryl. Two for $25. Release your inner Daryl over there with, uh, if you, uh, with Jesse Smith at Barefoot Archery. If you have any questions, just comment here. If you want to see the story, you can go over to our Facebook page. We have a video that was live, and it shows you the inside of the store, the range, and these two assholes and Jesse. So I've been to the idiot and asshole by both of you. <laughs> getting to shoot a fucking Falcon's throw blanket. We have to take the classes or we would have been allowed to shoot the thing. So we're going to take right it again. That we were oh, we had no idea. He's, I was no, shot a bow and arrow, but he's got fancy shit. No, shot an arrow too at the Renaissance Festival. That's not real. No, it's not at all. That's fake news. Oh, he's got. Hey, I've never shot a compound bow. I've shot like a standard bow. Yeah, his shit's got like seventy buttons. Yeah, it yeah. looks like it would snap back and stab me somehow. It seemed like he had a like a sight. The, on the it. thing is, we need to go take uh, lessons, and now you can go to Jesse at Barefoot Archery. Say the Poundcast, Panthers Poundcast. Uh, he hates Atlanta as much as you guys do. Good job, Jesse. Get two for one. Two for $25. You can just archery it up. Get out of the house. Do something. Support Panthers fans. Oh, yeah. guess what? What? Panthers won. Panthers did win. I also want to shout out to J-Dub like we usually do. He sent us an email in the middle of the game, and it was funny. And I just want to say thanks for it. Thanks, J-Dub. There is anyway. a video, too. Uh, the, I've edited it up the live We'll video. be putting that up here along with this video and they should be uploaded about the same time that's awesome voodoo effigy we light up some atlanta merch and clearly it worked because we ended up winning today i'm saying man we got that's what i was about to ask we need some good ideas for effigies for the remainder of our home games or away games tell us how you want us to destroy our opponents give us some creative ideas donate some merch from the other teams or else we're gonna have to actually spend money we on did spend stuff what, he spent five dollars. Five dollars. Thanks to Donnie and everybody over at Watts for Sale in Indian He's Trail, North Carolina. I'm plugging Jesus. everybody. Plug Watts machine. for Sale. They got cool stuff Sounds there. Like they got cornhole. They got Panther stuff. Please go check them out. Indian Trail. You should. Uh, Watts for Sale. Thank you for selling me that fleece. Hashtag corporate whore. Hashtag corporate ho. Corporate. Ho. Whatever, dude. I'm still corporate. It's nice to see our kids out there running around. Kalen Clay's fast as shit. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to the, the evolution of our offense. That seems yeah, so very first fucking stagnant game, for a year and a half. First game without Kevin Benjamin. So, and we won. And, and I think that our offense is already growing. Yeah. So I think that it's it can only go up. Well, not for nothing. When's the last time we got 20 points? Was it the Detroit game? We went two games in a row. Getting yeah, like just that. shit. You know, so I'll, I'll take it. I'm happy. No, we got 20 in Philly. We just lost. It was hard to remember. Yeah. If we actually start, um, the offense starts clicking, we're going to be a dangerous team. We've got beat Dolphins, take a break, uh, take our bye week, Get and Olsen. come back with Olsen. That's it, man. That might be the only thing we're missing. And if we can do pretty well right up to that point and add him into the mix. Didn't you say Manhurts was out with a concussion? He was out with a concussion. Um, yeah, better. Chris Manhurts, not for nothing. You've been silently decent at blocking and catching a ball or two. And wow. Dixon, man. Yeah. I don't know about that play. Well, he's not very good. He had that one game. That'll be the it. The solution for Ed Dixon. <laughs> yeah. Like, remember, he's on the field. They're solved. But whatever. Let's not look at all the shittiness. Yes, yeah, so let's look at the good. It's a win. A W is a W. But we actually was a hard fought when we earned it. And our team looked damn good. That was there. certainly even more than Thursday Night Football. That was the loudest the state has been all year today. There's hatred oh, for yeah. that fucking team. And I'm so happy we beat their ass. Even though we won by three. It's a whooping. Fuck them. If you have pictures with us and the sign... Tweet it over to at P Poundcast. That's the Panthers Poundcast Twitter at P Poundcast. We have an autographed napkin from Ray Caruth. Oh, oh Lord. my God! My <laughs> oh Holy Jesus! Crap. That was so bad. Anyway, we First do off, have some. Who was talking material. about Ray Caruth oh my this week? God. <laughs> this guy. I'm just keeping current topics alive. <sighs> this guy. Ooh. Anyway, 
I just censored a Fred Lane joke in my head. Jesus Christ. Don't blow it. Oh, anyway. Shit, now we're done. We're, keep pounding. Keep we'll pounding. see you next week Dude, for we the just Dolphins. Off, man. We just... If you like us, please subscribe to us at Panthers Poundcast on YouTube. Cam says, like on Facebook. And click the bell next to subscribe to get notifications every time we release a new video. Keep, keep, keep pounding! pounding.